you already know, Sports in the Pod, Sports in the uh, Trends Podcast Show, episode 36. I'm going to say 36. You already know, 36. We in the building. We in the building. You already know. All right. Uh, she gets straight to it, man. Like. We had a few games last night, bro. We all, we had Philadelphia sweeping the scissors, right? All right. They they got the job done. They got the task done. I I knew that. I called it out since the beginning of the game one. Uh, there's no way uh, they ain't got enough for Philadelphia, man. Philadelphia is Philadelphia, and I'm gonna say it again. Philadelphia and Denver is the teams that people. Keep just overlooking, bro. Like they, you know what I mean? Cause every year, right? This a this a notion. Every year, I got a little weed on my side of my face. I'm crying the weed, y'all. My bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? But hold on, let me get the camera right, right here. But every year, every year, man. Every year, them will get to this position or fit it up to get to the position, but they never get the job done, right? So, I feel like the notion this is going to be different. I'm not saying. I just feel like them will do get the rest of the Will they win the championship? I don't know, bro. You can never know. You know what I mean? They're like, will fit it up win the championship? You don't know. You never know. But I feel like the mentality they have this year, bro, there's no way we're going to keep losing at the same shit, the same capacity that we've been losing at. So, all right, so that's the mentality. I don't matter if they lose or not. I'm saying this is my mindset. So, they, they, because people just overlook those teams, bro, because they automatically assume, like, teams like Boston, uh, <clears throat> team, not even Boston at first, but now Boston, Milwaukee, uh, you know, Warriors, they, they, they didn't consider the Lakers either. Not, you know, nobody considered Lakers. Now, people want to jump on Lakers bandwagon. So they still don't. So keep still keep the mentality that you that you don't consider L.A. Lakers, bro. You know what I mean? Because y'all don't consider L.A. Lakers winning nothing. Y'all automatically think Suns won. This the two teams they think they're gonna be in. The, this this Suns in the Boston, bro. I think Suns in the Boston. I just I just really believe Boston about to get beat, bro. I really believe Boston had the opportunity as you. <clears throat> They'll probably get it another two years from now, but. Like get another opportunity at, but I just feel like this year, bro. Only way I feel like if, if Boston do get it all the way to the East Coast final, if they beat Miami, bro. You would think Miami would Boston would be me in Miami like wait, but I really think Miami is in Boston wait. <laughs> Miami like played everybody this season like they shooters went on, this and that went on, but the day was only preparing for the playoffs. They don't can they know what that was last year. They know how to get back there from twenty twenty to now. They taste it. They only preparation was for the playoffs. Fuck about season, man. We trying to stay healthy for the playoffs. Now you see them come alive, bro. <laughs> Even though Milwaukee doing their thing, I just feel like Milwaukee lost. If you don't have youngins, you lost, bro. You know where you're gonna beat Miami with that team, bro. If you do, you shut your prize at me. You know what I mean? Uh, this is the same way I say about Brooklyn. Get them out of here, bro. Tim Wolves, they got one more game. Errors, I feel your motivation. You should have had that motivation from the beginning. Don't have it now. Like, don't let it set in now and say, oh, I'm here. Let's go. You've been here. That's what you've been driving for since last year to get back to the, this contender in the playoff. So, also, you get here now, you don't have the energy. Like, you haven't arrived yet. I know you young, but bro, like that's that's goal to show you the level of focus y'all gotta have as professional basketball players. That's why you gotta come in, LeBron James, bro. Like y'all young, still want to party, still want to do a certain thing. Then you realize when it when it all said and done, the reason why you do what you do to get this check, to get what you get, to feed your family, is to be in need moments right here, bro. So whatever I had to do to shut down anything on the outside to be focused on these moments, I am, bro. That's what we do. If, like, man, that's why it makes certain players different. Like, if me being in the NBA from the season to playoffs, I will be focused, bro. 
I'm going to live, but I'm saying I'm going to live after each game. That's the, I'm going to still be focused. Like, ain't nobody going to stop because I'm trying to get this bag. I'm trying to, like, for one, I need you to talk about me. Every chance you get, the reason why he's the reason he helped this, this mm, 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 you know what I mean? Like, I need all the press. So, uh, she, bro, LA came out. Powerhouse, bro. I ain't saying. I feel like I'm just saying hypothetically, but if I do that every game with every team, you you really got to be at your level to play at the level where LA played. The excellent LA play all the way up to the fourth quarter. I mean, you know, John Morant start heating up with 22 points, three six threes. He just start catching fire. You know what I mean? So, but to play at that level where they like, they playing behind their heels, that's almost excellent basketball. So, LA to me. If you come swing like that every time with that level of focus, y'all good, bro. Don't. I'm not saying this game going to be like that, but if you prepare like that and prepare your mindset, like you said, come with that same energy. Like Ham said, come with that same energy, bro. Y'all should be well taken care of, bro. But if you come and you come not swinging in that shit, bro, y'all, like, what the hell, y'all, y'all get comfortable with a wing. So... I don't want to hear it no more, bro. Like, I'm very, like, to the point where teams like that, you shouldn't, it's no excuses when you, like, how you should come swinging. You feel me? Come swinging. And I feel like me putting that podcast out in the universe kind of enhanced that gameplay. So I'm I'm keeping this same energy. In between them lines, like how y'all play, keep that same energy. That's the energy you want to produce, that same energy, right? So, good game, good shit for L.A., but we not satisfied. Like, we haven't won shit. Like, Kobe would say, Kobe finna win the champion. He's still like, it's still not over yet. You know what I mean? So, keep that energy, bro. Like, because people already count y'all out, bro. They been counting y'all out since day one. Like, so the people that jumping on your bandwagon now, those the people you got to, they going to be waiting for y'all when y'all lose. I told them, gonna, but they – Versus our car, like they on your side now because you in it. They don't, we don't want them. We want them fuckers that been here since day one. They don't get, oh, we were 2 to 10, but they still kept saying, boy, they going to turn that shit around. I was like, anything we did with LeBron James, it's like, bro, I would never count this guy out with nothing. People get mad. I like, mean, he, bro, this is, I don't give a fuck, he 50. If he's still on that coat, this LeBron James, bro, what would it be? This is LeBron James. What are we talking about, bro? I don't know if he 50. You can't ever count him out, bro. <laughs> this nigga is a genius. He's a genius. It's not about the body. It's about how he going to chest tie this game. Man, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to count LeBron James out of nothing, bro. So that's what I'm saying. Those, those diehard motherfuckers that believe in that shit right there. I be real. I... I believe in L.A. because of LeBron James, bro. I was definitely, I'm wherever LeBron James riding to, you know what I mean? Like, whatever he ride to, that's what we're going to pack up. We're going to make sure this is what L.A. need. L.A. need to make this, boom, boom, boom. We need to make this so we can build this shit around the king. So that that's simple as that, bro. Like, never go against LeBron James, bro, when he's the business. You know what I mean? Like, who don't want to see him in the playoffs, bro? Reason why you don't want to see him in the playoffs because he can be gonna beat your team. You know it's a chance for him beating your team. It's a chance for him beating your favorite player. That y'all also call say your favorite. Nobody in the league better than LeBron James, bro. When we ain't saying like skill wise, they don't tell you your skill. I'm just saying like an overall total package of a player. Nobody in the league that's better than LeBron James as the total package of a player, bro. That's not, bro. That's no other player like LeBron James in the league, bro. Let's just go ahead and put that out. Put it out. So, for people to keep slapping that, slapping his greatness because he's still playing and all that in his face, man, like, what you going to say once he start getting the ring? Because he only playing for that now. He's not playing for nothing else but to play with his son and to get fucking ring. So, it's like, what you going to say then? You know what I'm saying, man? I don't want to keep hearing these naysayers, bro. Like, that's why I be like, shut these up, man. Cause it's a two ten season, the percentage of them not winning, like all this shit is a story, bro. And you know how many stories Brian got? 
this is about to be another great story, bro. You heard it from this one of your best podcasts, sports podcasts in, in the world. Not only in the nation, but in the world. In the world, Craig. In the world. <laughs> and I'm talking about everybody listening to it. <laughs> what do you all? You feel me? So, uh, salute. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, Rich Brook, them, that dude is amazing player, competitor, bro. <sighs> bro, I do deserve a championship, bro. Bro, I deserve a championship. Bro, to me, deserve a championship. It's not deserving, but it's, I feel like he's, they been trade. he been enduring so much of y'all shit, man. People that don't know basketball, man, I just feel like, damn, man. LA, get him a ring, bro. We know it didn't work, but give the guy a fucking ring. Give him a ring, man. Just give him a ring, man. Like, if you win, give him a ring. It didn't work, man. I'll go, the signs, pick him up. Like, what are y'all doing, man? Like, Kawhi Leland got hurt again. Like, nigga, you ain't been playing all fucking season. What the fuck is you getting hurt for? You you, you, you don't play no games, bro. You, you even taking games off in the fucking playoffs. Pause. Okay, right, man, just get rid of that team, man. I'm at a point with certain players for real, for real. Just move to the side, bro. You can come do what you do all season, bro. Just you just a regular player to me. If you got a name, if you want to play, with people talking about. But he did in the past. That's cool, man. If you still not competitive and come and come to work every day like Russell Westbrook and you a star like Russell Westbrook. Man, get up out. Like, just move to the side, bro. Become one of them bets that you're showing the next star that's coming up the game, bro. Because y'all ain't, it ain't, like, break Clippers up, man. Just break L.A. Clippers up. Like, I don't want to see Kai and George to play together no more this year, bro. I don't want to see that shit no more, bro. See, y'all should have went to LeBron James. One of y'all, y'all, like, weird to me. Oh, we don't play LeBron. You ain't doing nothing. It, y'all, y'all don't, y'all, y'all, it's not the drivers of the buses. <laughs> I mean, we all riding together, right? I'm just saying, like, you got to look at the analogy with Charles saying, it's not, you don't want to have that mindset. Well, because it ain't that mindset. Everybody riding together. But we just talking about to lead a team of 15 other, 14 other players. Y'all not that lead leader to do that, bro. Y'all not like that main cast. Like, you can't drive the bus. Like, it's a, it is a deeper analogy into that. Like, I want to go on my own. Like, all right, the system that you in. Kawhi was in a motherfucking A1 system where he pops in because he won more championship with the Spurs, right? If he would have stayed. I want to leave. I don't want to leave. I want to. Look what happened. He probably went and got one with Toronto. That was it. That was it. What happened? He on the team on his own. I want to go play with Kawhi. You on the team on your own. Joy when they play with what happened? Oh, should I play with LeBron? You would have had a fucking chip. <laughs> you would have played LeBron James. That's why I don't be getting it, bro. I don't get certain players. Joy, what happened? Look what, you see what happened? Like, I probably heard him run them out. Top five players on my list, right? Look what happened in his career, bro. Since he left, like, the LeBron James. And, it, like, even LeBron James was a struggle, but he get, like, Brian got it 2020. I'm just saying, look what happened to Kyrie since he left LeBron James. Like, I want to lead the team. Shit, it takes so much, bro. You, you can't, and when you become that, you can't be like, I just want to play basketball no more. <laughs> you can't. Nigga, you got to, like, make sure these guys is having your mentality. You got to keep, because they ain't got your mentality to fight through, knowing that it's boom, boom, boom. Everybody, it's different levels. Nobody, have, everybody has the level of a Kobe Bryant, of a James. It's a different level. So, you got to keep their mentalities going every day. Fighting their outside lifestyles and not being around their kid. Boom, 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 boom. So, you got to help them. That's a that's a daunting task for a lot of y'all. And, Brian, I ain't take all that shit, bro. Look what happened, though. Careers ain't been doing, like, look what happened, bro. I want to go play with kids. Look what happened. 
So that's all I'm saying, bro. Everybody can't do that, bro. That's why you team up with people that could and makes a good team. I ain't saying everybody should be teaming up with superstar. Because you can do that and still won't do shit. Because you can be a bunch of superstars that still not the drivers of the bus. And you just scores. You just give me the ball. just hooping. Man, shit is a strategic moves. Thinking. Shit, like, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, you, in a sense, I was talking about saying that you got to make it make sense. I get what Durant was saying. Like, everybody on the same bus. Yes. But that's a logic story. You know what I'm talking about? Within the lines, though, it's, it's a certain level of leaders of teams. Can you put Kirby on the Cleveland and he do the same thing LeBron James did for Cleveland? Without Jamar, Jamar and without the Clay Thompsons? You know what I'm saying? It's a different level of mentality to be able to endure all that, bro. And y'all just still be talking like, it be weird to me. A lot of y'all niggas ain't leaders. You just scores and hoopers. You, you know, it's like you can't do it on your own. You couldn't like figure it out and do it on your own. And you went and got with few people and still you got back from the few people. Like say Durant left Warriors, right? He learned how to get the chip. So that chip to him probably didn't mean as much because it, it was a disadvantage in his mindset. So you learn how to get it, right? And then you go back. Because you learn how to get it, okay, see. But now you learn how to get it for another show. You know what exactly how to get them. Go back to the Brooklyn Nets. Shit went to New York. To me, Kyrie. Shh, listen to Kyrie shit. Y'all shit went to New York. But you learn how to get this shit. Kyrie, you learn how to get it. Y'all team up. And you still don't know how to get it. So I ain't trying to stir out this subject that matter. I'm just saying. I'm just showing you. This is why you separate people, bro, from others. And to see who really. You got to, like. It's a mind and a hooper. You know what I mean? It's a, like the end of the Russell said, bro. So, all right. With that being said, Bridgeboro is definitely great to me. He got a bunch of players that's not fighting. Just hurt. <laughs> crazy. Get crazy teams and only fail. Uh, shit be just it irking my fucking nerves. And you got to keep attacking the bats like Russell Bruce said. So, I feel like Clippers might. Clippers probably lose for one. It, they could get it's a possibility they could get because it'd be close games but they got to keep driving and keep going but i'm i'm giving the benefit that they can get one more but they're gonna they're gonna be uh four one or four two man i give i give my benefit i give one more though you know what i mean but that's a pity give give i don't really rich don't want pity give he want that shit earned so all right, just hypothetically, this is it's probably over with for the Clipper season, right? Just like Brooklyn season over with, just like Atlanta Hawks season should have been over with. Um, only because these teams is too qualified, bro. They got too much firepower. Some of the teams still building for real, for real. So a lot of this season over with. Uh, Timberwolves season over with. Memphis season over with, right? We can say that, yeah, it's all with. If Lakers let Memphis beat them, break that shit up, you know what I mean? But we ain't going to go too far in Lakers and Memphis season. We're going to keep it as 2-1 right now, y'all. But the ones that's 3-1 and up, it's, it's over with for some of the team, right? I mean, you know for sure it's over for Atlanta. Atlanta ain't beating no fucking Boston. Let Chase Tatum get hurt, man. Uh, some shit happened. They ain't beat no Boston, bro. So I don't want to go too far into this, man. I'm kind of done. I have 20 minutes in. I don't even see how I have 20 minutes in into this podcast when it was really no problem. But salute to Dylan Brooks, man. You know what I mean? Now you just cracked a can up open for them to stay focused in this season. And I, and I appreciate that because they need that competitive drive pulling out of you. Motherfuckers. Just you be moving like you old. Like you talk that shit. It's a youth. It's a youth game. You know what I mean? So... With that being said, man, you already know you're chilling with your boy, Scar Hendricks. You already know. Salute to Zay, though. You know what I mean? But uh, Sports in the Podcast, trenches. Sports in the Trenches Podcast, show one of the greatest show ever. We out, man.